the state's interest is determined at any point by the government of the day. I, I think I'm right. So if the state owns GMPC, and the state's interest is determined by the government of the day, and most of these things have been couched in law, so either the revenue going to GMPC is prescribed by law, and it's government agencies that have to release. Bank of Ghana, Ministry of Finance decides when it is released. It's policy direction and the ventures that they can undertake are determined by politicians. Because GMPC's annual work program has to go to parliament. And it is only parliament that approves whether GMPC can spend certain monies or not. So if we put all these things into law, I'm wondering how we were insulating GMPC from political interference when the Minister of Energy is the one who determines the policy direction. And I'll give you a, a, some analogy. So it's a, a company by its shareholder, the state, at any point in time can issue directions outside an annual general meeting. So they don't need to wait for an annual general meeting to issue policy directions to GMPC and its board. So if these are the things that we prescribe for ourselves as a law, I'm wondering how, as an academic, that we could have protected GMPC from the political interference because everything has been prescribed by law. Mm -hmm.